News that the city will be returning school gyms back to its students. And protests erupted all week after several were set up to welcome migrant families, but that plan has been scrapped. Pixel is Anthony Lorenzo. He is live in Midtown to explain the new plan now to handle the crisis. Anthony. Dan and Hazel, there is a city hall team dedicated to looking for new locations every single day. So far, they've scouted about 500, we are told, where migrants could go. And at this point, city schools, well, it appears to be now off the table for shelter systems. Instead, uh, migrants from a PS 188 on Coney Island were brought to this location. This is vacant office space near Penn Station. And right now, a new humanitarian relief center is set to open tomorrow. That location is the old Roosevelt Hotel on Madison Avenue and will be the ninth emergency relief intake center. There are about 150 other locations citywide that are housing migrants, including shelters, hotels, vacant office space. But council member Justin Brennan of Brooklyn says the migrant families have been moved out of the schools, at least for now, and parents and officials from PS 172 in Sunset Park, where we were earlier this week, report their gym is being returned to students today as well. The plan to use about 20 standalone gyms was met with fierce pushback and protests by parents all this week. The public advocate, Jumani Williams, is demanding the federal government do more. Wake up, President Biden. Do something, anything. Help coordinate a federal response. That's the job of the federal government, not New York City. Well, while it has been pretty much radio silence from the federal government, the mayor continues to say that Governor Kathy Hochul is a partner in all of this. Uh, the city has had conversations with city, town, county leaders all across the state asking if they would be willing to take in some migrants as well. But so far, we have not received any word of anyone agreeing to it. That's the latest live here in Midtown. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo.